It is okay why to kill Palestinians. Why is it white supremacy, civilians. Mr. Why Bahidi? don't you say? Why don't you say? Why don't you say clearly that you are supporting the killing of Palestinian children? Douglas Murray is at it again. This time, he faces a Muslim who accuses him of being a white supremacist for supporting Israel in the ongoing Gaza conflict. What you are about to see is an example of debating masterclass. Douglas Murray did not hold back. Uh, did you call Hamas our brave fighters or not? I never said that, no. Uh, yeah, I don't know true, where you it? got that from. Well, no, it's, it's not true. They, 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 you are putting words in my mouth, but let me let me respond to what the colonel said. The colonel is, said, uh, is reflecting uh, clearly a very clear white supremacy approach. You are supporting the killing of Palestinian civilians. Why don't you say that you are supporting Israeli occupation of Palestinian land and supporting three terrible war crimes? Even the American public is against that. Three war crimes. The war crime of genocide, which the International Court of Justice is looking into now. The war crime of collective punishment and the war crime of ethnic cleansing. 90, wait a minute, 90% of the Palestinian people were evicted from their homes. What would you have said if Palestinians evicted Israelis from their homes? Well, 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 they would have that done, be course. acceptable? Mr. Vaguti, they have done, Why course, don't but, you use the same you, standard? I'm going to go when back to I'm going to go back to Colonel Kemp in a moment. But why why is why is this white supremacy? Where did that come from? The Israeli public are not all white. Because I don't I think you don't see us white enough, and you are against anybody who is not white. And that's why you justify terrible atrocities that Israel is committing. And you are justifying right. not only the fact that Israel is occupying us, but the fact that Israel conducted the worst kind of ethnic cleansing in 1948, forcing 70% of the Palestinian people okay, out I'm of I'm going to go back to Colonel These Kemp. These are the facts. Barkhoudi accusing Douglas Murray and Colonel as being white supremacists is one of the most absurd statements I've ever heard during a Douglas Murray debate. This kind of accusation is a big problem in debates, especially on serious topics like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. It's an example of how people sometimes wrongly use labels to dismiss others' opinions without really listening to what they're saying. First off, it's important to say that Barkhoudi's accusation is obviously not accurate. Murray and Kemp support Israel based on a lot of different reasons that have nothing to do with thinking one race is better than another. They talk about the history of the area, the right of countries to defend themselves, and how tough it is to find peace. Calling them white supremacists for this is not fair and misses the point of what they're trying to say. Using these kinds of labels is a way to shut down conversation. It suggests that if you support one side of an argument, you must be a bad person. This isn't right, and it stops people from having real, meaningful talks about hard issues. It makes it seem like there's no room for different opinions or thoughtful discussion, which isn't helpful for anyone. I'll just go back to Colonel Kemp quickly. Uh, Colonel Kemp, uh, you, you said that, he, that Mr. Barghouti said our brave fighters uh, were Hamas. He says he didn't say that. Um, who's right? Well, I certainly read him a quote. He may not have said it, but I read him being quoted as saying, I think it was Middle East Eye or something like that. But he can certainly, if he'd like to Google it to see what he actually said, he can find that and, on the internet. And what do you make of Sorry. this claim? And what do you make of this uh, claim, Colonel Kemp, that uh, everyone who uh, justifies or is in any way on the side of Israel during this war is a, is a white supremacist? Because Israel doesn't look like a very all white country to me, but I don't know. No, I mean, the, you know, there's, <laughs> there are all blends of um, races in Israel. And one thing we should remember as well is that there is a significant. Muslim Arab population in Israel. And one thing that I've observed uh, in recent weeks is a, a skyrocketing, a skyrocketing of support for Israel among the Israeli Arab Muslim population. The, the poll, polls, a number of polls have shown that a huge gro growth of support for Israel, a greater association with the state of Israel since the 7th of October. And that is partly due to the fact that Hamas, his, his brave fighters from Hamas that, that he clearly supports, came in and, um, and butchered not just uh, Israelis, but the, Israeli Jews, but they also came and, and killed a number of Arabs and, and, and people from many different ethnicities. So what he's talking about, I think it's a great throwaway line, white supremacy. It obviously gets, you know, it's one of these intersectional terms, you know, me too and all this sort of stuff. It's, it's, it, it, he obviously thinks that's going to garner support for him for people who uh, you know do object rightly object to the idea of white supremacy but i don't think that comes into this argument one little bit please let me know what you think in the comments in my view 
I think the debate ended when the accusation was made. It is very difficult to debate someone who has already put a caricature of you. Conflating support for Israel with white supremacy overlooks the diverse array of individuals worldwide who support Israel for various reasons, including historical, religious, and cultural affiliations. Many supporters of Israel are motivated by a desire for peace and security in the region, advocating for solutions that respect the rights and dignities of all people involved. To ignore this diversity is to overlook the potential for common ground and mutual understanding.